our last calculation will be for the water part. So what you'll see here is that the dry erase and the Sharpie and the pen did not move in water. They are not soluble in water. Only the washable Crayola marker moved in the water. So that means that it must end up being made with water, like dissolved like a polar substance. You'll also notice that the water continued to move of the paper, so we're going to have to make a new solvent. Okay, and disregard the one that we originally drew. And you'll see that the pigment here, this black pigment, started to separate into two different visible colors. You can kind of see this hue of red down here, but I don't see it pronounced enough. Some Crayola markers are very bright red and yellow and blue. These have three primary colors all put together to make black. So I'm just going to separate this yellow and this dark blue color. So. yellow teardrop shape, like so. And I'm not sure if you can see that. There we go. It's a little glistening part. So I am going to measure the two different thicknesses of the Crayola. So I have my blue and my yellow. So the retention factor is how far that pigment moves over the solvent front and then solve for that. So the yellow is 3.1, the blue is 4.4 centimeters, and the solvent front moves 5.5 centimeters. So with a quick calculation, 4.4 divided by 5.5, 0 0.8, 3.1 divided by 5.5, is 0 0.56. So here we have our analysis of the two different pigments in the washable Crayola markers.